question, guys. Yes. When you go to a restaurant, what do you usually do with your plates after you've finished? Lick them. <laughs> right answer. Sign of appreciation. Yeah. Um, are you in a restaurant. So I'm talking about like once you finish eating, do you... What do you do with your plates? Do you just get up and go, leave them all there? In the restaurant, do you... like, they, don't they just come open, they take them off of you, and then at the end, they give yeah. you a bill. Okay. So I've got this. If my plate's a... still there by the time the bill's come. Are you talking I'm more like a, a McDonald's or a fast food restaurant where they don't have table I service like so much? Anywhere. I feel like anywhere, but more like a restaurant. Restaurant. But look, there's a video here. It's on TikTok by Kate by at Kate Brand. And if we all watch it, she's. She, she's captured something here which mm. is pretty ironic ready ironic uh, that's what she reckons morissette ready let's watch the video now <laughs> I'm the video. and we're back so basically this lady this waitress um filmed two tables after they after the customers had been you know had, had finished eating um one table was was filled with baby boomers and they left their table, like just messy, plates, napkins no, no, not everywhere. Baby boomers. Yes, yeah, they left baby their plates boomers. everywhere, and napkins everywhere, and, and a mess. And then the very next table next to them had um, had Gen Z, can't believe it, Gen Z, Gen Z customers, and they had stacked all their plates neatly and put them oh, on really? one end, and like the table was clean. And she filmed what it, and she was Z? just like. It's like the latest generation. The I recent, think. the most 1995 recent. Nineteen ninety-five onwards. There you go. Old enough Did to eat at a restaurant. The poor old buggers haven't got the energy to clean them up for themselves. <laughs> Let them make a mess. They lived through World War Two. <laughs> yeah, so she posted this going, Well, I just think it's a little bit ironic how they the older generation expects respect from us but it's the younger ones that are cleaning up after themselves wait are they and just there was a lot of comments to to her tiktok feed yeah um just saying. a lot of people defending the baby boomers like cj has just done hmm. um what were you gonna say i i, I like say, that, it looks like a sizzler it looks like <laughs> looks like a sizzler yeah and i want to say as well from the listeners that the when you say they they left the table, as in they weren't at the table, were they? They'd left the table completely, and they, that's how they left it behind. Yes, they had like completely left the restaurant by this stage. Yeah, and then it's what and they leave in the aftermath. Because yes. I, if I leave the restaurant and no one's collecting my plates, I pile them up. If the if the waitresses are coming around, then I don't yeah. always put a pile. I sort of just lean back Let politely them. so they can pick up my plate or hand it to them. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do that too. Oh, look, so if I have to, if I have to clear my own plate. I'm not giving you a dip. That's all I'm saying. So that was one of the comments. Someone was like, well, maybe they're just making up the fact that they're not giving any tips. <laughs> uh, whereas perhaps the baby boomers are giving a generous tip and they've yeah. been raising kids and grandkids and cleaning up after them for years. So they deserve the right to be messy at a restaurant. I got a question. Like, I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. So if you are eating at a restaurant and you drop food on the floor, do you pick it up? No, nah, never no. mind. <laughs> I, I looked at it. some etiquette rules and no 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 you do not you do not pick it up well actually no. it said cutlery but i imagine the same would be true with isn't food. it isn't it the five second rule oh wait pick it up to eat it <laughs> <laughs> i thought you meant pick it up just no to... just pick it up in general uh, and like... put it where though i don't know and go i need i dropped it and <laughs> show the waiter what are you, five? No. I dropped it, sir. <laughs> it's very circumstantial. No, no, no. If I drop a chip like on the I floor, s- pick that up. Yeah. If you drop some soup on the floor, I am picking that up. <laughs> I don't think I would. <laughs> like if I was at Bavarian, you know, beer cafe or whatever, yeah. ever, and like dropped a, a bratwurst on the floor, I'm not, I don't v- think I'm picking it up. <laughs> a bratwurst. Are you kicking it? Are you going, oh, that's not mine. By the sounds it. of it, <laughs> oh, someone it wants there. to go to the um, Bavarian restaurant at... Um, you know, up, <laughs> your, up your way. Yeah. Where's it at? It was at Para, wasn't we're, it? We went to cinemas. Grouse Hill? Yeah. Maybe. There's the Brazilian, rest- um, Brazilian restaurant there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think Emma wants to go, mate. Oh, oh they're yeah. my favourite. Oh yeah. gosh, got to love. It's good pretty good there, isn't it? Bavarian restaurant. Um, but I mean, so I looked into what are some etiquettes, mm. right? That's interesting. Um, yeah. Around the table. Actually, first of all, because Maxie touched on this, like, do you think that or does it annoy you when the waiters come around and say, have you finished? Can I take this? When there's st- when you're like not quite finished or there's other people at is, is your table. Is there food on my table? Uh, is there food on my plate? Yes, but you've leaned back. What? To let, just let some air in? Exactly. Exactly nah, nah, my nah, point. Nah, nah. It always happens the, the, to the, me. The, yeah, but it never happens to me. You're an, you're a I, slow I eater back. though. You're a very very <laughs> slow eater. Like everyone's finished, and I'm still looking at you going. Uh, everyone's for the, ready for dessert. What are you doing? No, what are you doing that's over not there? Me. That's you. Somebody else. <laughs> hey? I'm getting rid of my main to get my dessert. Quick snap. <laughs> no, you're a slow eater. <laughs> Quick snap. Really? You're a slow eater. <laughs> Today, Ernie, it must be your other wife. <laughs> yeah, it must be my other wife. <laughs> but okay, what about if you're there together? Like Maxie and CJ are at a restaurant, and Maxie's finished. But CJ still eating, mm, and then that wouldn't happen. Is it rude for the waitress <laughs> to come round and take Maxie's plate while yes, CJ's still eating? That's rude. That's yeah. rude. I think. Yeah. yeah. I so they should, should wait that. for the whole table. Hey, I, I've got to tell CJ to stop when he hears the crunches because sometimes he puts his fingers in his mouth. <laughs> I go stop at the crunches, man. <laughs> See, oh, I, I would goodness. have eaten mine and eyed off Maxie's. What, what do you mean? <laughs> what is it? I'd, 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 I'd have eaten my meal. And started looking at Maxie's like, hmm, what did he get? <laughs> <laughs> well, here are some little etiquette, not just about, not about clearing table, but just some restaurant etiquette things. Mm. So, a little trivia, I guess, as well. When eating with your cutlery, which cutlery do you start with? Inside one. Outside. 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 <laughs> it's like, it's Incorrect, like Dev. Incorrect. Well, I only got chopsticks. You start. Yeah, got chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have? Do you have? Do you have like starts of chopsticks and main chopsticks? And nah, chopsticks? just one set. One set of chopsticks one and set a bloody a soup, a soup, a uh, soup spoon. That's it. What happens if you drop a? What, what happens if you drop a chopstick on the floor? Oh, you start poking it. You stab it. Stab it. He turns it into a shiv. <laughs> okay. Next etiquette. Do not use your fork like a scoop. What? When eating, what? point the tines, which I guess are the prong things, of your fork down towards the plate. Use your knife to squash food onto the tip of the fork. Do not use your... Oh, so it means don't use it like you would a spoon. So don't use it <laughs> facing up. You've got to use it backwards. Oh. Which is what we do in England. But I also use it both ways too, though. Yeah. Uh, when I, Wrong. My mum taught me to do it that way, like the, the backwards way. and squashing. Yeah, don't don't scoop. That's rude, apparently. There you go. But like, have did yeah. you like you guys from England? Did you ever and everyone else except like Asia? Did you ever <laughs> think about like going why fork and knife? Did you ever think like no. is there an easier way to eat food? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what two I didn't sticks. do. I didn't look at two sticks. I think <laughs> that's the answer. Yeah. Yeah, two and sticks, also, yeah. Did, why? But see, I could say the same thing with oh, using look, your... I don't use two sticks. No. I use I use spoon and fork. Yeah, you use... I use a spoon and but fork. But use the spoon to cut like a knife. Yes, so I do, what, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you struggle that's with it sometimes, it, like if it's steak or something. Yeah, I guess it depends no, if it's on the steak, food If it's eating, steak, surely. I get a steak knife. But should, other st- most of the food that we eat is just spoon and fork. Yeah. But do you have a lot of yeah. meat, like big chunks of meat in your dishes? Yeah. yeah. And you, yeah. you use spoons to chop up the big chunks of meat? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That sounds like weird. we just get the fork and the spoon and we separate it. We don't cut it. We and just then separate. they use the back of the fork and push it onto the spoon. But that's bad yeah. etiquette. If you like, well, what I was taught is if you, if you use your knife and fork to separate rather than use your fork to hold and your knife to cut, that's going to be oh, the right. official way. Mm. I don't know who uh-huh. made these rules anyway. Like, what's Westernized people? I eat a lot of pasta. The dominant. So you kind of have to scoop. White your... Westernized people <laughs> made these rules. Yeah. I think. One minute warning. <laughs> CJ, like you eat pasta a lot. Do you do you use knife and fork? No, we don't use knife at all. You just fork what and spoon. Do you use? Fork, or fork and spoon. Fork and spoon. Fork and spoon. I use a spoon as well. Yeah. We, I only, I only, I only asked because when you guys were farmers, like with the when the farmers, you didn't use 
Like you had a shovel. What? Like to <laughs> dig we? stuff up, you had shovels. You know what I mean? We, are you saying we ate with like, shovels? No. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I'm wait, saying the spoon, the spoon would represent the shovel. Like you dig stuff out. So like if you had your peas or your um or your mashed potatoes <laughs> or your like you'd scoop it up like a like a shovel and you'd put what's it in your, your mouth. What's your point? <laughs> what the, I mean, like, what you're saying makes sense, but like, yeah, no, I'm just don't. saying when you're like out in the fields. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know and how we got you, from the fields to the Well, thing. I'm just saying, like... Cause farm, farm to table, what's it called? I guess, I guess, what was the knife use? Like, oh, no, no I guess you playing. suggesting we have axes, like mini axes to chop up our, like, carrots. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, but CJ, how did you, how do you use, how do you, um, like, if you're having not pasta, how do you, how do you eat your meal? Do you still have, fork? do you use forks? A fork, a knife, right? Yeah. Fork holds the food. I cut with a knife. Oh, oh so, so you the still, same. Yeah, but no, no. Oh, but you so said you, still you use, use fork and spoon. Like for pasta, for like spaghetti, I will use a fork and spoon. Yeah. I do the spoon yeah. and the twelve, yeah, twelve, twelve. Pasta, macaroni, and all that. But if I've got meat. You fork and knife. Yeah. Okay. Fork and knife, Dev. A fork and knife. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next etiquette: Do not pick up cutlery if you drop it on the floor. This is what I was saying with the food. Yeah. If you accidentally drop it, leave mm. it. Well, even in your own house. You. Oh, this is just in a restaurant. Uh, I mean, this is in a restaurant. <laughs> now. I, I was, I, I was going to say, <laughs> there's going to be a shitload of cutlery on the floor when you come over. Ems, yo, I dropped it. <laughs> Not your server. <laughs> um, do use your pudding spoon like a knife. So that's where you do gently cut it inwards yeah. and then place it in your mouth. Place it in your but mouth. Don't. Place a spoon in your mouth. <laughs> Absolutely do not confuse pudding with dessert. This is something I've just learnt, guys. Right. Some restaurants serve both pudding and dessert. The pudding is the sweet course and the dessert is usually something like cheese or like a fruit platter or something like that. Mm. Didn't know. I didn't know that either. Well... <laughs> We have to ask if you need to leave the table. But I, I thought, guess that's if you're having I thought a, pudding was yeah. a type of dessert. I did too. too. Like spotted dick. <laughs> also, <laughs> well, a bit aggressive. Well, well, slow down a bit yeah, there. Yeah, but, like you, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. Don't go straight to the after party, <laughs> mate. I, that was the first pudding I could think of. Sounds like M likes a uh, dessert. <laughs> treacle. Treacle. What's the other one? Treacle. Trike. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Tuck, do not tuck your napkin into your shirt. But then, but then I'm gonna get sauce all over it. <laughs> I've got it to tell you. It is now considered you know, vulgar. I never understood any of these rules, right? So the first per, the first time I went to a place, I went to someone's house and they gave me a fork and fork and bloody knife, and I went sh- in my head. I went shit. I uh, said, so "What the hell is this?" Right. So I was. I got my fork. I think I was only like twelve. And I started scooping everything up with my with my fork, and they're looking at me, and I'm looking at them, <laughs> and I'm just smiling. <laughs> See, this is why I need to teach my kids why I I don't let them use fork and spoon at home because they use that at with your family, yeah. but they need to learn fork and knife. Yeah, I had to, I like, I learned from watching you. I'm like, huh. All right, let's do it that let's, way. Let's let's see if we can let's do it that way. Copy. Do you, do you still just, use chopsticks in your house now? No, no, we never use chopsticks. I just I said you... it as a joke. No, oh. no we um, we, we use spoon and fork. <laughs> I was hoping when fork. you got the, I was hoping you're gonna say when you got the fork and knife, you just use them as chopsticks still. Like. <laughs> 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 I learned how to. I only learned how to use chopsticks when I was um, eighteen, sixteen, sixteen or eighteen. Like when we started going having sushi and that. I bought the practice uh, chopsticks. Yeah, with that's the right. Connected at the top. I, the practice I, ones. I still yeah. can't figure it out. Really? No, I can do it, yeah. but it's just not fully. You just fully, the, fully. the more you do it, the better you get, right? So if you don't, if you only yeah. use it like three or four times, of course it's going to be. But like I'll use it, use it if yeah, I'm but... out eating sushi. I'll use them, but I don't know how they use it with like just rice dishes but, in general. Like, well, they lift the bowl up, and the the rice that Japanese people use and Chinese people use, they're stick, they sticky. Yeah. Mm. So it's That's not true. like you're not picking each grain up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! 
Um, yeah, I'm a big guy. I'd be too hungry to. <laughs> right. Well, maybe that's maybe why you should take up um, chopsticks. Because it's slower. It's why? Sl- you'll slow down your eating, so you can't just shuffle it in your mouth. You be like, I'll just go caveman style and, and eat with your hands. hands. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a, that's, that's a proper piece of advice, you know. The 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 Weight Watchers crew in uh, are they worldwide or the UK? I don't know. Weight Watchers well, no, worldwide. 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 They They're suggest you use like w, dessert yeah. spoons and forks eat your dinner. So they're, they're much smaller, yeah. so, so it's slower. hard to put more in your mouth, right? And then yeah. you catch yourself when you're full quicker. Mm. Yes. I tried it. It's, it's the most unsatisfying way ever to eat food. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't even trying to lose weight. I just wanted to, I wanted to see what it felt like because people are asking, went... should I do it? Well, when I went to Weight Watchers, they also suggested eating a chocolate bar with a knife and fork. Who are you, to, George Costanza? To say, savor it. Because <laughs> they're like, if you're going to waste all those, all those points, you want to... You want to savor it, like you want to make that like a meal. It's a, yeah, right, right, right. I mean, if you're gonna, I, s- I want to get the whole thing in my mouth and savor the flavors. It just because otherwise <laughs> it's gone <laughs> in one second, no. and you're like, oh, I want another one. If, if I'm gonna savor it, I would, I would rather just take all my clothes off, lay in my bed, and just <laughs> sort of slowly. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't slowly my eyes With closed and my whole body though, Maxi. in the most people, relaxed position people, possible this this is a good fact oh not a fact but this is a good tip mm. if you suffer from heartburn mm. like follow that trick like try to eat your food with um fork or like um a dessert spoon it'll stop you from getting heartburn because you're not you eating go. as fast psa mm. thank you mm. now if you have your napkin do not wipe your mouth just dab <laughs> Dab? So what is a food and napkin? <laughs> Isn't it like to clean your face? <laughs> <laughs> and you got to put your napkins, napkins on your elbow <laughs> so you can dab. <laughs> you know how people propose a toast for people? You must stay seated whilst, whilst they're toasting you. What is this etiquette from? 19 what? 80 what? And raise a glass in the direction of one. other glasses of other guests, but don't touch glasses with them. What do you mean and don't never... stand up when people raise a toast to you? So if you're toasting someone else, you mm. should stand. But if the toast is in your honor, you should remain seated. Who stands and You never touch gets glasses. To... You just in the direction. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and then... I'd like to give you a toast. <laughs> <laughs> never tap your glass to get the attention of of uh, of someone else. You should actually do it by clearing your throat, which I don't get why that's. Mm. Oh, very, very etiquettely friendly. (laughs) How did you say that? Uh, I was going to say that. That's quite a bizarre one. That waitress I wanted to meet. (laughs) 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 There you go, guys. Etiquette lessons from Emma. Actually, that was from the restaurant choice. Thank you. Beautiful. The restaurant choice. Thank you. So, thoughts, final thoughts. I think that was it, wasn't it? We gave our final thoughts. Oh, yeah. Done. I think the worst thing you can do in a restaurant is click your fingers at the waiter or waitress. Oh, yes. we talked about that the yeah, other we week. Did. Yeah, that's bad. That's the Why? Just put your hand up and clear your throat. I just uh, do this. I go... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get your attention. <laughs> I dropped, I dropped my chopstick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't pick Only it up. one. Only one stick. 